Oh my goodness, how does he fit everything in here? I don't get it. I ordered groceries like two hours ago and they're already here. I love the future. Picked up kombucha. I love this kombucha flavor from Rise. It's the hibiscus and rosehip bananas. I've got a cucumber. I really want to chop this up today so that I can have cucumber slices as snacks because I feel like I'm really lacking in the snack department and I want a healthy option so I feel like cucumber is a great way to go. Usually you get, oh it is an orange pepper. This orange and yellow look, no it looks orange. Peppers, sweet potato, green beans. I've really loved roasting green beans lately. Red onion, baby dill pickles. I have been craving pickles lately and these in the fridge, again, it's a nice snack. I guess it is kind of tied to cucumbers, but it's a nice snack to just like munch on a pickle and also as like a burger topping and all that fun stuff, but I am very excited. Had to get some refills for my Brita, so I got a pack of five, which means I won't have to buy this for another year plus because each filter is like for three months. Nashville style hot from Gardein. I don't think I've ever had these flavored ones. I usually just get the regular ones or the chipotle lime. Extra firm tofu. I'm going to experiment with marinating it and pressing it and probably pan frying it. So I'm trying the Guardian Supreme plant-based burger patties for the first time. Tortellini pasta and okay, be careful, an 18 pack of eggs. Before doing this grocery trip, I also did like a little meal plan on my whiteboard here. So tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna do homemade pizza, Friday sweet potato, green beans and zucchini, Saturday roasted pepper and onion with feta and pasta, Sunday and Monday are taco nights with sweet potato. Not quite a week's worth of meals, but I figure by, by Tuesday I'll probably wanna reevaluate what I have left and figure something out. I only got one of these. Why did I just get one? I should've gotten two. Sad, oh well. You win some, you lose some. Oh shit, I almost knocked myself out on that freezer door. Ooh. We've got coffee going. I'm very proud of myself because I managed to film everything I need for a deadline I have in a couple days and I thought I was gonna do this filming tomorrow instead of today because I woke up not feeling like in the mood to be on camera but something came within me, some energy burst within me and I was able to get it done and I feel so productive today and I'm vlogging. I love days like these. I actually I need, I'm someone who needs the the occasional productive burst day to feel really like on top of things because if I have too many days where I feel like I didn't feel satisfied with what I got done on my to-do list, then it makes me lose steam. So I need these little bursts just to get me energized and pushing forward and all the things. I don't know, what am I saying? It's like two o'clock guys. I've just been filming and memorizing lines for a couple hours. <laughs> I am not capable of forming sentences. I need to set you down. Also, look at me rocking this blazer. If you've been around my channel for a bit, you know I've had this blazer for years. It's from Zara. I definitely had it while I was in university and I've been out of university for almost three years now. That's terrifying. I actually haven't been wearing it very often though. I'd say in the last year, kind of having a moment with it. It does need to be steamed or something though. It's a little wrinkly. Oh well. I was gonna go put this in the cupboard. It needs to go in the fridge. Cheers, darlings. Cheerios. Oh wait, I guess I should show you. It's nice, she's recovering. She's doing well though. There's a lot happening right now. I'm also making homemade pizza. It's juice. I knew this There's was- so much juice. They actually messaged me and then I went to a health food store here in the city and saw them in the refrigerator. So I was like, oh, I am very pumped that they emailed me at the right time because I would have bought some myself. Fresh cucumber, orange, and kale. Cactus, green juice, apple, cucumber, and celery. Pineapple, lime, and mint. hey -o. Yeah, coupon code. Do I get a coupon code? I don't know. <laughs> that would be a really good segue. Use my code. Your sickness is making me want to uh, 
take a ginger turmeric shot. Little kick you need to get through laundry, meetings, and other adult stuff. Oh, I do like that description. Cheers. Cheers, Maddie. Cheers. That was really good, actually. I feel like I'm gonna be the picture of health for the next seven, two, four, two, four, six, seven days. I need to clean. I need to take out trash. Just wanna eat. Maybe read a little bit and then get started so that hopefully I am done sooner rather than later. And then maybe I'll go for a walk or something. I cracked my yolk, so another devastating blow for the day. I had a spider escape into my printer after work last night and I have not found it. I'm feeling a little stressed about that to be honest. wash them and cut them up. Because otherwise it's so easy for them to just stay in the fridge and then you don't use them and it's just a shame. I went on some errands in the morning and it's calling for rain probably in the next few hours. It didn't rain while I was out, but my hair is prematurely puffing up. I swear my hair knows when rain is coming and it panics. Whenever I have to do errands, I find going straight in the morning to be always the move. I'm not someone who likes going after lunch to go do things because everyone has that idea. Everyone at one o'clock is like, let me leave my house. No, not me. I keep it to the AM as early as possible and no one else decides to go out. While I was eating lunch, I was also just re-watching, or I guess watching, uh, all of the interviews that Emma Chamberlain did for Vogue on their YouTube channel at the Met. She did such an incredible job and I gotta say I think as a YouTuber it's always so neat to see creators who I followed you know as a fan I watched Emma's videos while she was coming up in the space just to see like what she's really done with her platform. It's so incredible and I just feel like a proud sister even though um I can I can take no ownership for this at all. Aside from just wanting to kind of get some fresh air today, I also went out because a book that I am super pumped about came out today. And that book is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I loved Beach Read. I adored people we meet on vacation and uh, it's just, it, you know, spring, summer is coming when you get a new Emily Henry book. I don't even know too much about this book synopsis. Uh, she's just one of those auto buy authors for me, but I have heard on TikTok that this is the book, this is a book for older sisters or oldest daughters. And I fit the bill there, so very pumped. I'm gonna start this tonight. Oh, I love that new book smell too. Oof. I mentioned to you guys how I typically don't buy fiction in physical form. I usually reserve that for my ebook, but um, Emily Henry is one of those authors I will always buy her physical books because I just love them so much. I love her. But my exception to that rule is when I see a cover that kind of draws me in. And this one drew me in. It's the Dashend Wears Prada. Something about it just made me really happy. I actually think this also came out today when I was looking it up online in the store. It just seems like a fun one. I'm compiling all of my spring, summer book recommendations. I will be sure to pass along what's a hit and what's a miss. The other thing I picked up from Indigo was actually a magazine, which I don't typically buy magazines because quite honestly, a lot of magazines these days seem to be mostly ads than anything. But this one uh, is not like any magazine I've seen before. I don't even want to call it a magazine, but it it's I guess like a mini book because it has just articles and beautiful art. There's recipes in here. This is just gorgeous. 
I was looking for some inspo for June's plan with me that I have to start thinking about coming up with spreads for. And I've been having a hard time coming up with a lane that feels like it's going to really oof, spark a lot of creativity within me. And when I'm looking through this, well, or while I was looking through it in Indigo, I just felt really inspired. So hopefully I can pull something from either the topics of the articles or the visuals that makes the process goes swimmingly. I also stopped at Shoppers and picked up this color from Sally Hansen in Aquamarine that I think is great for spring, summer, and a shower cap because I have a hair mask that I technically need to have sit in my hair for like 20, 30 minutes. And the only way I can fathom doing that is with one of these. So we needed a shower cap. This was sent to me by Pella Cases. And let me just say the packaging for this was simply a brown, package envelope and the cases. There's no extra excess, which is amazing. And these are like sustainable cases because it says right here, you can place it in your home compost when you're done. I got this terracotta one and this mushroom one. It has a really fun texture to it. Definitely an improvement from my just regular clear case right now. I didn't show you guys on the YouTube channel, but if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, then I had shown myself doing a little Abercrombie haul that resulted in me having to return everything actually. Usually I know my sizes there, but things were a little off. And one of the things I did exchange were a pair of shorts. They of course didn't have the same color that I got previously in a size smaller. That is not gonna fit me. There is no way. I'll try it on, but I don't know what is happening there. I was technically able to get them on, shockingly, but I think they're I think they're too a a little too snug and just a little shorter than I would like. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's gonna be <laughs> a return. It is very close to my butt ending. Okay, slow dust. Get off the butt, por favor. Be kind also sent me some of their products and also want to note that although they sent little packing. Uh, cubes they can they can be put in water decompose leaving no toxic waste behind I've never gotten packing cubes. That I can do that with that's amazing I know they actually sent me products, but the stickers that they sent me I'm arguably already the most excited about <laughs> they sent this beautiful nail polish a shampoo and conditioner bar uh -huh, There we go. The packaging is sublime. Oh That is so cute smells incredible. Coconut and lavender body lotion made from aloe vera and apricot oil. The packaging, I can't get over it. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> what a nice self-care package. Thank you so much to the Be Kind team. Also, please uh, take into account how I unbuttoned, unbuttoned my pants to do that. Uh, sometimes I just don't want to be corseted in, you know? Today is a laundry day. The bed is unmade. We're getting it all done. Now the reason I'm doing laundry today, aside from the fact that I do need to get laundry done, is because I know next week my period is coming up. And although it might sound silly to schedule things or do things around your menstrual cycle, uh, I am doing that. I know next week I will be a lot low, a lot more low energy. I already don't like laundry, so if I have to do this task ne next week when I'm feeling uncomfortable, I'll be even more annoyed by it. I've just been trying to be a little bit more aware of my cycle as I've talked about because if you can schedule things around your cycle and make things a little bit easier for yourself, then why not, right? There's even like work tasks that are supposedly better for certain stages of your cycle than others. Like there are times where you're more inclined to be more creative, some days where you're going to be more um, ready for planning. Um, but I, you know, that, that's something that when it comes to work, you don't always have control over. What tasks you get to do, it's great if you can, but personal tasks, personal chores are things I can control without any deadlines getting in the way. Also, can I just say, I made a huge mistake starting Book Lovers last night. I'm already probably 60% of the way through. I was up late last night reading and then this morning when I woke up, I did some reading 
and I can't stop thinking about diving back into this book, which is annoying because I know I'm probably going to finish it within the next 24 hours. And it's a book that I wish I could savor because it is so good. This is how I get away with not doing laundry ever. Life hack, buy all the underwear. emotionally fragile from finishing this book but incredible like my favorite Emily Henry book aside from the fact that I love that it's so focused on books and city life and the main couple in it are so in the book world and the way that they converse with one another another is so smart and witty and ugh, made me laugh but I also love the sister relationship in here and love the the tackling of this theme of or i guess not this theme but that moment in life when things around you seem to be changing and you desperately don't want them to be i resonated with that so greatly and it brought tears to my eyes when a particular scene was happening in this book because i felt like i could relate to nora so deeply and um yeah, I just think it's incredible. I'm currently going off to do some returns. This is the OOTD, wearing Abercrombie mom jeans, an Abercrombie leather jacket, which is perfect for the weather right now because there's tons of holes in it, but I think it's gonna be a high of 12 or 14, so it's perfect weather. Classic black, I love it. Again, I am leaving right in the morning so that I miss all the crowds because I have to go to the Eaton Center, which is not my favorite place to go. I used to enjoy shopping, but I still have moments where it's fun, but I, I definitely am like, let me get in and out as fast as possible. So that is what I'm doing today. hours but wow what a trip I did today I walked over 13,000 steps all around the city oh I guess I could sit down <laughs> had to go to the Ian Center to do some exchanges and some returns so yay but while I was there I visited Abercrombie because there are so few Abercrombies in Toronto I think the one at the Ian Center is the only one is there one at Bond Mills I don't know I tried on quite a few cute things all the sizing was a bit off and the pain in the butt part is a lot of the sizing in store isn't very plentiful. So even if I had wanted to try a size smaller or bigger than anything, it's not really a guarantee that they have much stock. I did buy a classic white t-shirt from Levi's though. I tried this on while I was trying some jeans at Levi's because I've heard great things. I've tried wearing Levi's in the past and I've never been able to find my size. So I was going in with good intentions, but again, cannot figure out like how to make those jeans work for me because my regular size I would get Abercrombie or Dynamite could not, could not get up my butt or hips. And then I think I tried on three sizes up. So one size up, two sizes up, and three sizes up. They were all too big. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And those kinds of moments in changing rooms can be so 
frustrating and vulnerable too because you start dissecting a lot of things about your body or you can potentially. I think I, I went into today, it was like a good approach to today doing this because I, I went to Levi's and tried on jeans, none of them worked. I went to Aerie and tried on bathing suits. None of the ones I tried on really made me feel great, but I was in a good headspace for, okay, we're just gonna casually try on things and see if anything is a hit. And if it's not, it's okay. As opposed to doing that shopping when you're in desperado times, desperate times, and I feel like in those situations when things don't seem to be fitting and you really need something, it really brings out a lot of not so fun dialogue with yourself. So although there was a lot of changing room mishaps today, uh, I actually feel like it was a good, I'm, I'm glad I did it because now I know, okay, I don't think Levi's jeans might be for me or we'll try a different style another day. But anyways, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, I actually am really glad that I went out today and just spent some time with myself shopping around. I haven't done that in a really long time and probably won't now for quite a bit because online shopping is just where it's at, guys. It's just where it's at. Oh my goodness. What a day. <laughs> 